everybody who is watching this live stream from the opening of the exhibition of Fiona Banner, also known as the Vanity Press. Um, and the exhibition at uh, HMKV Hardware Medien, Medienkunstverein here in Dortmund is called Pranayama Typhoon uh, Soft Parts Wing Flap Fin. Um, uh, somehow I can't really make this kind of entertaining way like in the exhibition openings before because we have a very kind of solemn atmosphere in the exhibition. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm going to tell you that uh, I saw this exhibition, which we are opening tonight at uh, HMKV. I saw this exhibition first in April in Venice. Uh, while I was preparing the Kosovo Pavilion for the Venice Biennale and um, Fiona's exhibition, which was not part of the Venice Biennale, but which happened in parallel to the Venice Biennale, really fascinated me. It happened in an old church, in a former church, um, which, was now, which is now transformed into a basketball uh, situation of a school. And I saw her work there and uh, as it happened that we had an, a free exhibition slot, I invited her to present, to bring this exhibition to HMKV here in Dortmund. Um, it's the exhibition we are opening tonight. And, um, well, um, giving you a kind of, uh, you know, um, overview within 15 minutes, it's a challenge. Uh, in the background you see uh, one of the main works of the exhibition, um, it's called Pranayama Organ. Um, so the, whole, the exhibition title actually is Pranayama Typhoon, which combines two, let's say, opposites. Uh, pranayama is like an ancient breathing technique from India or from meditation. Um, and typhoon is obviously a very, could be a very extreme weather phenomenon, a storm which could also be deadly or have deadly effects. And um, so uh, Fiona Banner, she's uh, combining, in many of her works, she's combining, uh, let's say, opposites, uh, life and death, or let's say, uh, hard and soft um, breathing and a killing wind, for example. And uh, the same is also happening in the video behind me. It's called Pranayama Organ. So uh, in English, uh, it, this word organ, obviously it's referring to the huge wind instrument. So um, this exhibition is a lot about wind, uh, breathing, but also, uh, let's say, the opposite of breathing. Um, and uh, the video was, uh, is, in the video you see um, a huge military aircraft, a decoy aircraft, so a kind of fake aircraft, uh, an inflatable aircraft, which is used to, to um, well, it's, it's used in war <laughs> uh, in order to, um, irritate the enemy to tell the enemy look here is an airplane but in fact it's not a real airplane so the enemy will drop their bomb on the inflatable airplane so she's using these kinds of decoy airplanes decoy inflatable airplanes and um, you see a performance at the southern coast of the uk um, you also see two performers in the video, uh, one of which is uh, the artist herself. Um, and um, are we online? <laughs> okay, are we online? Okay. So um, um, in the video, uh, it's a kind of constant changing between conflict of those two performers or let's say a kind of pas de deux, a kind of dance, a kind of dialogue. So it's a constant um, changing between these uh, situations of conflict or love. Um, the objects you see in front of the video, maybe you can see them, it's um, bean bags, it's uh, custom-made bean bags, 
uh, and they have the shape of aircraft parts. So one huge beanbag um, is made in the shape of um, uh, an airplane wing. The second one um, is actually, has actually this, the shape of um, a flap and the third one has the shape of a wing. So that's how the subtitle actually comes together. Soft parts, a wing flap fin. And the interesting thing is that, you know, those aircraft parts obviously are parts of weapons, of uh, aircraft weapons, but here they become very soft and so you can sit on them, you can, uh, you know, linger on them and you can watch the video, basically. So I don't know what's going on actually in the background, but I try to uh, focus, okay. Um, maybe we can turn around and have a look at the huge video, uh, the huge um, aircraft, the inflatable decoy aircraft. I hope I'm not going to walk into the aircraft. <laughs> um, it's a 10 meter by 8 meter by 3.50 high. Um, this is a real, uh, actually military aircraft, an inflatable aircraft, which is used to to, uh, you know, used as a fake airplane. I actually only knew this story from uh, the Second World War when the UK had lots of these fake airplanes at the coasts, at the southern coast, so that the Nazis would dump their, their bombs on those fake aircraft and not on the real f aircraft. Um, but actually, like two weeks ago, I read a kind of news item uh, referring to the Ukraine, uh, where it said that um, they, in the Ukraine, they were using, they are using actually wooden uh, decoy aircraft um, to kind of simulate real aircraft. And so uh, already, I mean, like two weeks ago, already 10 Russian bombs have been dropped on those fake uh, airplanes, which I think is a great uh, success. So this airplane is breathing, obviously. Um, so it's not fully inflated. It looks as if it just landed in the Dortmunder U in this, on the third floor, actually. And it's kind of tweaked, you know. It's not really fully inflated because it can't inflate because it's so much put in the corner. So um, we can watch it breathing, you know, like actually exercising this pranayama breathing technique, I guess. Okay, um, we have paintings as well in the exhibition. Maybe we can just walk to one of those paintings or maybe three of those paintings down here. Maybe we can have a look at, at this painting. Um, this is one of the seascapes that um, Fiona made. This is actually based on a found painting. I guess it's, um, she found it an, on the flea market or a second-hand dealer. Um, and the, it's those classical seascapes, you know, where you, she, where you see battleships, um, uh, also sometimes used as kind of romantic motifs or something. And what Fiona did, she actually replaced the battleships by full stops or, you know, interpunctuation, like commas or semicolon, also question marks, um, which are now floating on the sea. So it's, it's really her fascination with, um, let's say, typography, um, uh, interpunctuation, also in the sense of how interpunctuation is structuring um, our language, so when we speak, how a full stop is making you pause and, you know, taking in your breath and then kind of taking in breath again and, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of a choreography, it's, uh, you know, signs for the choreography of, uh, of us speaking. Um, maybe we go over to the last two works in the exhibition. <clears throat> so 
we uh, go to the runway, the project. I'm trying to see Fiona, uh, she's around, and um, if I see her, I will grab her and I will pull her in front of the camera so you can see her as well. Um, these are two photographs, um, and those pictures are called Runway. They were made and they were published in the Korean Vogue. Uh, and they show two models who are wearing those inflatable costumes, those aircraft costumes. And they are also on roller skates, actually. It's like, it's a nice kind of parallel between, you know, a human on roller skates and uh, a military aircraft, you know, on a runway. And of course here, she's referring to the runway, you know, in the fashion world. Uh, um, how it's connected to a kind of runway for military aircraft where they are, they are you know, starting, uh, uh, taking off and so on. So it's, um, uh, that's actually those two uh, photographs. And right next to it, um, we uh, see another video. It's the second video in the exhibition. Um, <laughs> Uh, it has a very long title. Um, it's called Dear Bathos, Love. Um, and um, it shows an ISBN number on a, on a, maybe you call it a song panel. Uh, in German we say Liedtafel. In a church we used to have, you know, those Liedtafeln in order to indicate which song is going to be sung in the church. So uh, here we don't see uh, numbers of songs, but we see uh, Fiona's um, ISBN number. And um, she actually, uh, as the, uh, the Vanity Press, she managed to get an ISBN number, which now represents her as an artist. And for me, somehow, this video, this vertical video, is like the signature of the entire exhibition. So um, it's also almost life-size, so when Fiona is not here, then her ISBN number will stay here. So I'm now looking around, maybe I can see her, I can find her. Maybe you just follow me and we can find the artist. Uh, just a second. Ah, she's here. Fiona. Hi. Fiona, a.k.a. the Vanity Press, who came over from London and who spent the entire last week with us. Um, and we are so happy to have you here. It's great and to be here, Inka. Thank you for everything. Thank you. <laughs> I left basically after just going, it's the, put it there, put it there, put it there. And then they did all the subtle tweaking. Anyway, really happy to be here. It's a pleasure Fantastic. to have you here and I'm a great fan of your work. Ah, I'm a great fan of you. It's good. Okay, we are now going to enjoy the rest of the evening 